Well, more than 30 years ago, the Milwaukee Boys Club became the first in the nation to offer membership to girls. That group is now the Boys and Girls Clubs. As part of that, there was an event that celebrates and empowers local girls, and it was so popular that it's happening again this year. Here to tell us more about the Celebrating Girls event is Rebecca Ellers, along with Denea Collins, who is a Boys and Girls Club member. Great to see both of you. Thank you for having us. Thanks for being here. Uh, what is Celebrating Girls? Because this year's event is happening next week, Thursday, November 10th from 5.30 to 8, right? That's correct. So Celebrating Girls is an event that brings together community leaders to connect with our female club members. So the girls get a chance to showcase exhibits that they've built that demonstrate the, the programs that serve them through the clubs. And really, it's a great opportunity for our guests to mingle with them, to learn their stories, and to support them and their futures. It's so neat. Some of the programs that I've read, read about, and we'll talk about that in just one second, the programs you've participated in, but some of them are really cool, like participating in a mock trial. Yes. Um, there was a program I read about, um, about p uh, girls learning engineering. Mm -hmm. And then something fun I thought was spending an afternoon at the Summerfest offices and kind of learning, um, working on social media yes. and learning things that are now so important, it seems to everybody, but really unique opportunities. It is, and that's actually something special about our event. Instead of going to an event where you purchase an auction item for yourself to bring home, you actually can purchase a learning experience for our girls to participate in. So what you just mentioned, for example, the Foley and Lardner attorneys offering the girls to come to a mock trial and then have lunch with them on the 40th floor of the U.S. Bank building. That's a once in a lifetime experience that most adults don't even get to participate For sure. in. So our guests can actually purchase or sponsor a girl to attend that opportunity and really learn about what's it like to be a lawyer and maybe consider that as a possible career choice. Well, during the commercial break, you were telling me about a unique opportunity that Danae was able to participate in. Was that one of the items that someone purchased as part of an experience? Absolutely, yes. So we will have about 45 uh, opportunities and uh, we could send you know, hundreds of girls on these learning experiences uh, if our guests are uh, willing to step up and, and sponsor a girl. Um, they're really, you know, you mentioned Summerfest, it's their 50th anniversary this year so our girls will get to go work on a social media campaign for them. Uh, we've had girls go to Rockwell Automation and learn about being an engineer, which of course we're encouraging more girls to get involved in STEM um, mm -hmm. activities. So it's just really an opportunity for them to explore and uh, expand their horizons as to what the possibilities for them could be in the future. Yeah, I, it's science, technology, engineering, and math. Correct. I think it's wonderful to expose girls more to those fields in particular where maybe they haven't had the opportunity in the past. So let's talk a little bit about some of the programs that you've participated in because there's several, right? Yes, um, I've actually um, participated in um, a club called Keystone and it's a community service program. Um, I've been in a women empowering group called Sister Pride and I've also been involved in cheerleading and volleyball. That is so neat. What was the experience that you had? You had lunch with uh, professional women, right? One yes, day? Yes, 30 and professional women and 30 club girls and we had lunch at the Messiah's house. That is so neat. Really unique opportunities. <laughs> what do you feel um, that th th the Boys and Girls Clubs uh, have done for you? Or w what do you think you've maybe seen that you maybe wouldn't have otherwise seen because you've been a member? Um, I think just reaching out to the community more. Um, I don't think I would have been able to do that without the clubs. And I think it's important to reach out to the community just because everything that's going on in the world. And it's just really a privilege to do that. I think that's so neat. I bet you have a lot of great young people um, like Denea who have really benefited from these experiences. Absolutely. And it, it's wonderful to see um, as these girls go through the programming, as they meet some of our community leaders, um, just the, uh, you can see that kind of um, moment of awe. You can see when the, it, it kind of clicks that there is a bright future ahead for these girls and they're very talented. And I'll tell you, the guests who've attended this event for the past two years, the, the number one thing they come away saying is they're just so impressed with these young women. And you think about these are our future leaders at, here in Milwaukee, and so the future does look bright. We just need to make sure that we're giving them these opportunities and that we're empowering them to be the best that they can be. I think so too. Do you know what you want to be um, after high school? Because you're a sophomore, right? Yes. Do you um, know what you want to do later in life? I would like to be a pediatrician or an OBGYN. Really? Yes. That's awesome. Good for you. Going to be in school for a long time yes. if you think about medical school. But that's awesome. And it's great that people 
are aiming high with their, their future goals. So Celebrating Girls, this event that we're talking about is open to everyone, mm -hmm. right? And they can find out more um, because their goal is to grow inspirational and responsible leaders. It's happening next week, Thursday, November 10th from 530 until 830. It's at the garage at the Harley Davidson Museum, which is a super fun place to have this event. Boysgirlsclubs.org is the website. There's also a phone number there. And do you know what tickets cost for the event? Sure. Um, we've got some great sponsors like Hersey University who've allowed us to keep the cost down. So it's $100 per ticket. And of course, proceeds from the event, uh, they do support girls programming at Boys and Girls Clubs. Wonderful. Great to meet you. Thank you nice so much for being here. Too. Appreciate Thank you. your time.